Welcome to Edinburgh. We're in Scotland's capital for Hogmanay. So let's start the show. Here, Marcus. Edinburgh is blessed with a tram system and the fantastic thing about it too is that it connects the airport to the city centre. So we're going to show you how to get a ticket and take you on a little tour into Edinburgh. Buy day tickets for unlimited travel, buy tram and single airport return tickets are open okay let's have a look we are here where do we need to go to search destinations do we go to, do we go to Waverley St Andrew Square we're going to uh, yeah so an airport an adult airport open return nine pounds that's correct and we want two of those one Two, 18 pounds, Adult Airport, open return, confirm, and I think I can do contact. This. Don't focus in on my card. <laughs> That's the beep. Would you like a receipt? Yes. I'm assuming that is our two return tickets. It is it need an airport adult return? Two, oh. of, two of those. Yeah. So let's go get the tram. Okay. I love this view. This is Cowton Hill and it overlooks the whole of Edinburgh. And it's such a magnificent um, place to get a perspective of where you are. So it's a good starting point on your adventure in Edinburgh. Look at the magnificent sunset at Cowton Hill. Wow, it's fantastic. Hogmanay is the Scottish name for New Year's Eve. Each December 31st, there is a huge celebration in the nation's capital, Edinburgh. It is normally followed by further partying on the morning of New Year's Day, or in some cases, January the 2nd, a Scottish bank holiday. One Hogmanay tradition is first footing. The first person to enter the home of a household on New Year's Day, and is seen as a bringer of good fortune for the coming year.
This is Greyfriars Bobby, the faithful Sky Terrier stood by his master's grave until he himself died 14 years later. We're standing outside Waverley Station and this is where you can catch trains all over Scotland. But really, why would you want to leave Edinburgh if you're here for a few days? Well, of course, Peter was with us on Christmas Eve and he's back here on Hogmanay! Yes! <laughs> and, you know, New Year's Eve, there's only one song really to be sung, and it's Auld Lang Syne. And we've got the words in front of us here because it's one of those songs where you sort of start off, don't you? You know the first few lines, mm. and then it all peters out. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was a terrible I mean, joke. It's not Marcus in out. <laughs> <laughs> so, luckily, we have got the words in front of us here, um, but I don't think anybody. Uh, really knows anything beyond the first verse. So, so let's we, get started. Yeah, let's get singing. Do we say? Do we sing it in an Irish accent or a Scottish accent? I think we'll just choose the accent du jour. So Ooh. I'm singing American. <laughs> accent of the day. I French think. then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For days of old Of kindness yet for days of old lines. Happy New Year, Happy everyone! New Year. Happy Hogmanay! Happy everything! <laughs> Happy <Hogmanay. laughs> See you next year! See you next year! It is Bye. next year already, isn't it? Bye for now! <laughs>